guys. Hi, guys. We are making, what are we making today? Play-Doh. We are making Play-Doh. This is an easy, inexpensive way to make Play-Doh. We made it once before, and Jordan thought it was super awesome. So, I have my little recipe. But here, you need two cups of flour, and I'm using, like, a really inexpensive flour. Oh, yeah. Um, this worked fine the last time, so I'm going to stick to it. Then you need uh, three quarter cups of salt. I'm just using regular kitchen salt. Then you can mm. use four teaspoon of cream of tartar or uh, lemon juice. We're using cream of tartar. I've had this forever. Work fine. Two cups water, mm. preferably warm. And then four tablespoon of vegetable oil. Now, I need to actually treat this as like maybe two to three tablespoons of vegetable oil. I realized that after um, the first batch, it was a bit dry. Uh, and could be because I did not leave it for much longer. Try to stop stealing the salt. <laughs> um, but I think one of the pro I will try, it, try not to leave it too long on the stove and see if that's a problem but if not i think you need about close to three tablespoons of um of salt um of oil so that's the recipe here and i'll put it in the description and food color of your choice um last time we made we got eight different colors and we do still have some of them and i can also show you the end of this video the quality of those and those were made about it. almost a week Taste ago. It. Hi guys. Uh, I meant to show you guys the the dry ingredients before putting in the wet. So we have here and I'm gonna put on my stove to medium high heat. So I put in the flour, cream of tartar, salt, uh, two cups of water, and then I'm gonna put in the oil. Jordan is helping me here. Stir gently. Are we stirring gently, Jordan? Yeah. Yeah, we're stirring gently, so we put in the oil. You just want to mix it, and you want to mix it until it forms like a ball or everything comes together. And at that, Jordan has maybe less than a minute to do this, and then I will have to take over. You can definitely get your little one involved once you're accustomed to doing, like, cooking projects. With hey, guys. Them. Hey, guys. Hi, Jordan keeps liking to say hi, guys. This is about three minutes in and you just keep, you really need to stir this. I'll come back and show you guys how it looks when it's more or less close to finishing and then we'll go on to the kneading part. Look, I want to play Jenga. <laughs> so this is what it looks like and then you need to transfer it onto a mat um, or greaseproof paper or wax paper and knead it. It's super hot and you want to take your time as you... Press it, please, please, that please. you don't get burned. You're gonna get burned. Wait until it's cool. cool mm. It's kind of difficult doing it with one hand, but yeah, we're gonna try and see how best we can. After about some minutes of kneading, this is what it looks like. That's like pretty good, and it gets better as you as it sits. So we chose six colors. So we're gonna make six sets, and I have six. Ziplocs, we did do containers last time, but truthfully, Jordan, <laughs> Jordan actually misplaced my container. So we will stick to Ziplocs and lead into the colors. Where you put the drop? Yes, Jordan's going to help me with the drops and we're going to put the colors. Hey guys. Hey guys. Uh huh. Tell them what you're doing. We put colors. Hello. Blue. Blue. Uh -huh. yeah, and we are mixing. So Jordan likes this part. You definitely want to get, yeah, you definitely want to get um, a mat or something that you can do this on. Okay, we gotta keep mixing. So, fun part for the kids too, and he loves his hands getting all messy. <laughs> After quite a bit of drops, um, I would say. Somewhere like seven, eight drops. This is the color we got. And we're okay with this blue. I always like to go lighter, but Georgia just grabbed the blue and did it first. But usually, since we're doing then, yellow, I would have gone yellow, it, orange, and then, red, then if, and then the raw. <laughs> but we went with blue, so this is what it looks I'm, I'm like. Oh, hold it. Yeah. I'm not need, it's, starting it's, to that it's not fully needed. He's going to put restore it in a Ziploc. Do it right here so everybody can see. Ziploc. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then we use it later. And Jordan makes whatever he likes. Hi guys. Again, so this is our end product. We did six colors. Of course, Jordan cannot wait to start. This one was supposed to be purple, and I think it actually changes to purple after a while. Oh, Jordan, don't take it out there. Yeah. But, no, Jordan, can we see your hands? <laughs> Green was our last color. Jordan had fun. So let me show you what we did last week. These are the ones we made last week. As you guys can see, they're still really good. Then these are the ones this week so yeah i did a double batch last week so the size is different for each color but yeah these are actually still a little warm super fun inexpensive i will try and estimate how much everything costs me and put it in the description um bar below for you guys hope it was helpful Bye bye